this is the Kodak Alaris S2050 scanner. I'll be showing you how to replace the rollers inside the scanner. Um, this tutorial can also be used with any S2000 series scanner. If you're not sure when to replace the consumables on your scanner, it's recommended that you replace each feed roller at around 200,000 scans or sooner, depending on their condition. The separation rollers we recommend about 70,000 scans at the most, but if there are additional issues happening with the scanner, such as a lot of multi-feeds, stoppages, or slower feed performances, that's an indication as well that the rollers need to be changed. The numbers can also vary due to paper types, environmental factors, and overall cleanliness of the scanner. So always make sure to keep your scanners in a good condition and the rollers in a great condition as well. The consumables we'll be replacing inside the scanner are the feed rollers, the separation rollers, the urging roller, and the separation pad. To start, open up the scanner by releasing the lever on the top and then remove the input tray from the scanner. It's important that you remove this or else you won't be able to access the rollers inside of there. Next, remove the feed cover so we can access the feed rollers inside the chamber. Pop the cover off so we can access inside. Don't worry about breaking this, it's a very sturdy piece and will pop off pretty easily. Take the urging roller assembly out first. Then remove the feed rollers from inside. This is magnetized in there, so it may give some resistance, but should also pop out very easily. When you have your urging roller assembly out, pop this old urging roller off, so you just have the assembly piece exposed. Then, take your new urging roller and slide it on the assembly piece. So it's nice and lined up. When you have your new urging roller and assembly together, as well as the feed rollers together, you can put them on. Make sure to put the feed roller in first and slide it into the spot. Make sure that the gears line up and that the rollers and assembly are firm in place. Then take your urging roller and also slide it in, again making sure that the gear lines up. When your new rollers are in and the gears line up, you can put the cover back on. It'll clip right back into place. On the other side of the scanner, we'll replace the separation rollers and separation pad. Pop the gray separation pad off. Slide out the separation rollers. A new consumable kit will come with an entire feed unit already put together, but if you need to change the old ones, they slide right off and slide right back on very easily. Once you have the new one put together, clip it in and make sure that the notch here lines up so it slides in easily. Then take your new separation pad and slide that in as well so it clicks. When you have the rollers replaced, simply close the scanner back up Take your input tray and lock it back in. And that's how you go about changing the consumables inside a Kodak S2050 series scanner as well as any S2000 series.